Okay. Nope. Now we are. Now we're live. Woo! I've been doing that for about 30 seconds while we were waiting to go live. Yeah, Bart Woo. still doesn't know. It takes a little bit. Woo! I know it. But until the live kicks in. You just never know when it's going to kick. So you got to, I always try to be doing something weird. Bart, we do, we do, we do not have a special guest tonight, do we? Right. That we're hooking up with. No, and, so, and an empty chair that normally I would sit in, but I'm remoting in from my house. We we might we might not have anybody via Hangouts, but we have a special guest coming in live. I think you should make the special guest just sit off camera for minutes. And make not, him sit. Make him sit over there. Come on in. He thought he was special. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh dear God! Here we go. Woo! How you doing, dummies? It's a good cousin, looking hat. Cousin Shane is on the set for a live stream. <laughs> Boom! The chats just started blowing up. Who, who we got? Well, you know what we need to do, Bards. We need to try to spend a little bit of extra attention to our uh, people watching tonight. Sure. Hey, people watching. <laughs> <laughs> Tom R is in the house. Skin nineteen head sixty nine V Rich, hey. um, Howard Walmsley Food Quig Food Amy, Quig Amy Quig. sees a beautiful can. To hat, to hat is a wonderful whiskey. To hats to all of you. Go Habs Jesse Voison Access Whiskey Welsh Toro Amy W. When Jesse she said. Voisin. When Amy said she saw a beautiful can, it could have been uh, Cousin Shane's rear end. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Whiskey Throttle's in the house. Whiskey Throttle was up late last night with Swami for a four-hour stream. Wow, that sounds fun. Um, Kevin Maiato, Welsh oh. Toro, Whiskey Music, John Post, David Howe, Travis Faircloth. Claire the Third, Malted in Montreal. What up, Swami? Drew Bills, Scotch Four Dummies, Christopher hey, Malloy, Press hey, Man, Adley. My Lord. Look at this. It gets on me probably for just reading names. He says it's not very entertaining for people to watch later. No, that's what you said. <laughs> oh, people okay. like it. People I said like that. It. He's acknowledging yeah. your people. Then I'm a genius if I said it. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's nothing better than hold on, let me try it. Let me give it a Jason Fisk, Jesse Voice, and Amy says nope. Malted in Montreal laughs out loud in all capital letters. <laughs> the good thing is nobody else can see this later. <laughs> yeah, they're up now. Uh the chat box is attached to the videos now. What? When did yeah. they finally fix that? Uh just last week. You're kidding. I, nope. I missed it. Ooh, somebody says, uh, uh, Shane, sing us a song, Free Bird. Free Bird. Uh, I got to think about that one for a minute. I went to the levee, but the levee was dry. That's not Good that old one. boys. Oh, no, that's, that's a, not American that Pie. Yeah. Free Bird and American Pie, very close. Close. It is same, American. Uh, same genre. Genre. Yeah, yeah, it's Americana. Same type of music. Is that like a hillbilly rock? What is it? All right, everybody, I quit saying names because Bart, again, was making fun of me for calling out people watching. You're think, all you're all important. I think if you all did four or five, but important. you were on, like, number 23, Lana Lou, uh, DeShield 2, which I never know how to say. Shimon is on. All right, what are you drinking? You see this? You see that? What is it? is a little bit of our infinity bottle, which was created from the 2018 Pete shootout. That was an overrun. And I will say we had to make the other one because in the Pete shootout, we used all baby, all of the English whiskey company. So this is now an infinity bottle from the Pete shootout. It basically says, badass on it well how come you got that whole bottle and all i got was this little four ounce sample from our infinity bottle i'm not as dumb <laughs> <laughs> hey uh, hey bart tom r says a great quick hitter today Woo. uh blind whiskey reviews is watching he says what's up dummies whiskey throttle says what the heck happened lol where when what i don't know what happened huh oh is he talking about last night 
I will make you a deal, Scott. When we do the uh, sherry P or the sherry shootout, you can keep that infinity bottle. Oh, excellent. All right, deal. <laughs> uh, Malted Man Cave, he's watching. He says, uh, what are we exposing this evening? Because I put that in the title. Exposed Scotch Test Dummies live stream. That was that was a. Uh, it's not that kind of show. Clickbait. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cousin Shane I, made I it tricked you. <laughs> it worked. We got people Cousin, in. This keeps sucking Cousin in. Shane is following Quig's lead, and he's going to take off his Crossfire shirt. Woo! <laughs> That's Clickbait. good. Hat. Clickbait worked. We got Malted Man Cave in here with it. <laughs> We are going to talk about a little bit. I'm going to open up my bottle of uh, Octomore 6.3, and we're going to talk about that. And um, if you're watching our Pete shootout, we'll get into that a little bit. We just uh, released bracket three yesterday. Bracket four and the championship are coming up. That's right. I'm going to mention that uh, for the Super Scotch God patrons, they're getting a funny little card. There's uh, almost 50 cards that are already addressed and ready to go out. We've got about 73. Hello. Got about, see, here would be the deal. You guys have like your own show going. I'm, just saying, I'm getting me and uh, Shane. Shane was out of beer. He's, he came over a little bit early. Let, yeah. let me set the stage. Cousin Shane came over a little bit early. We've gone through a couple of craft beers warming up. And I just noticed he was out. So he's ready for the next project, which you don't want the whiskey. You want a whiskey glass probably for that. So I'll get that for you. Bart, continue on. I'm going to lock the screen on you so that uh, people don't see what we're doing. Not that there's anything secret, nothing exposed. Just Bart can show the uh, letters there. Brace yourself, people. Go. Uh, oh, now I want to see something exposed. I feel <laughs> instead I'm not. Well, the gist is we've got about, I've got a, uh, almost 50 of these. They're ready to go. They've been addressed. Um, part of this deal that uh, we want to do is we're going to take, you know, those fun little uh, photo Christmas cards that you get, a little collage. We're going to do something creative every year around Christmas, but we wanted to do one that uh, that is just a thank you for when we hit our 1 million views. So that's what this is. And then for those uh, Super Scotch God Patreon fans, they're going to get a, a Christmas slash holiday card every year from us. And we may get some Christmas cards from our fans that will – kind of put on the show similar to traveling dummies. I like the idea um, of receiving cards maybe from around the world. We've got Canada, we've got Belgium, we've got Germany, we got a couple for Scotland, we got Netherlands on here. By the way, Tennessee's huge. I know you guys are whispering there, but uh, we've got we've got four fans just in the Nashville area. I think they need their only own dummy club. All right, go ahead and unmute there. Everybody can see you kind of talking. All right, yeah, we were getting a beer. We got whiskey ready. Sorry about that. I'm I think still they getting ready. Still, I think they can still see you in the bottom uh, window there, even when you're muted. Uh, not when there's just two people. It'll lock on. Uh, only when you have three people does it show everybody at the bottom. Now, that is interesting. Yeah. Uh, this stuff makes my Twitter twinkle, people. <laughs> <laughs> Set it up here so people can see. Uh, Shane Shane's a big Irish whiskey guy, Woo! and um, the uh, Jameson Caskmate Stout Edition you really like one of your favorites, probably. Yes. Uh, he hasn't had a chance to try the IPA edition yet, which is what he just poured a little bit of. Mm. Let's go back up here though a little bit. Um, do 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 do. Access whiskey. Yes, I'm a tease. Whiskey music says split the screen. Well, you can, uh, I don't know how to do that in Google Hangouts. So when you get into OBS software and all that, all the extra right. stuff going on, you can do all that. This Infinity bottle is delicious yet weird. Tom R. says, Scott, what do you think of the Octomore bottles? Worth the price and are some better than others? We're going to get into that just a little bit, Tom. Hang on. Uh, we'll talk this one, the 6.3, which we had in the uh, Pete shootout. And blind whiskey reviews. John is watching. He cannot get few get used to the uh, bare face of cousin Shane. Ooh, my face right is closed, folks. <laughs> it is bare. I just yeah, you shaved that off. No more mustache ride. Mustache ride is closed for the season. 
Even roller coasters shut down every now and then for maintenance. Mm. Man, that's good. Interesting. Um, do, 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 do what else we got going on here? Um, Whiskey Throttle says we need OBS. No, we don't. That's too complicated. Google Hangouts is easy with YouTube. It is, and they'll make it well, easier. Once you figure it out, it's it's complicated to get going, but once you get it figured out. Yeah. Access Whiskey says that uh, he can't believe you did not advance. This is a spoiler. If you haven't watched um, brackets one, two, possibly three, you might not want to watch the live stream. You might want to wait. You to watch those. We'll give everybody a few seconds here to shut down. We'll probably, is it, there's probably some spoilers coming, isn't there, Bart? Well, I'm going to, I figured I would try to stay off of episode four in the finale, not talk sure. about those. Yeah. Up to where, yeah, we'll talk about where we're up to so far. Right. I was a little nervous on knowing that we were going to talk about it, that all of a sudden I'd be like, you know, number four, do, do, do. And you'd be like, no, you're ruining it. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. yeah and I'd well, be like, God dang. Dude. Surprisingly, I bet you do say something. It, anything is possible. <laughs> Thanks for the surprisingly, I bet you do. You're so upper and chipper. <laughs> I had it all funny and everything. I over do 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 do. <laughs> That's a good impersonation. I recognize myself. There you go. No, but you're right. I had to think there. I got to make sure because you're not too far off that I could suddenly be like, well, in the finals, and you'd be like, shut up, shut up. It was good, though, I'm telling you. This is, here's what I love about our March Madness, our, 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 our 16 bottle shootouts. They're as fun for me, and I think for you to go back and watch, because when we do them blind, I'm so focused on the spirit that it's fun to go back and watch the show when the cheat sheet's up, showing what all the bottles are and what you're doing, what I'm doing. So Yeah, I, I, I even like that, going back and see what we're getting for nosy notes. And like the last one, you know, they, they lined up, they were the same, and I'd be like, I'm getting roasted peanuts, something. You're like, no, I can't say nothing because I'm getting different stuff. Well, my favorite was when you were like, I go, I smell dirty socks. And you're like, oh, I was going to say dirty feet. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me one of these days to be sitting with you people and you go, you know what? I'm getting capuchin monkey. <laughs> yeah. How in the hell do you get capuchin monkey? Bart, well, Bart, we're doing these peated shootouts. And Bart's like, this is like a skateboard that caught on fire. <laughs> and three days later, you're smelling, not like the first day, but oh, it's three dude. days later. And they were using Canuba wax on the skateboard <laughs> and lying. the plastic wheels were on it were made from the Dulux factory in Michigan. You got to exactly. admit, and you got to like, get some heavy capuchin. You, know, you got to admit when I, when it came to mind that it was, a, I said one of them was tasted like a pirate ship on fire. I know. What is that? What is that, that is, anyway? Well, yeah, yeah. first of all, pirates are dirty. They're sooty. They're nasty. That was a sooty, and I got a saltiness, so you can get that. But it was <laughs> I'm telling Hey, Bart. It was I'm beautiful, you, dude. I've got a senior in high school. I can go in here and catch his bedroom on fire, and it'll smell exactly like what you just described. <laughs> so okay. we always, we always call, we always call Jackson a buccaneer. <laughs> Salty and musky. I know, but it was that salt, that tar, that brine, and it was that sooty, smoky, black beards, got the little wick burning in his beard. It was a pirate ship on fire, dude. That was a beautiful note. Um, for those that are watching, complete random, chances were <laughs> slim, but bracket two and bracket three, our, our picks lined up the same. Bracket four, they are separate. Uh, Claire, that Claire the third was just asking. So, well, yeah, but that was even more fun to watch because we're thinking we've got. There's no way they're all lining up, and I, you would describe something, I'd be like, "Ooh, that's throwing me off," because that's not what I'm getting. So, talk about not influencing each other. Till we got to dirty feet. Yeah, D bracket three. We get to D. We had A B C D. I did Bart separate. He did mine separate, but we got to D and Bart goes, I'm getting dirty shoes. And I go, I'm getting, I was going to say dirty feet. 
And we were like, the D's got to be the same. I think you put it down D. and you walk away because you ain't drinking that. By the way, that, <laughs> that company with that brand must have been thrilled with that. <laughs> They're like, you bastards. Hey, David, David Howe is calling you Captain Description. Yeah, Scott, I was just channeling it on that one, dude. I'm telling you, I was feeling it. <laughs> This is like a dirty sock that was caught on fire when it was soaked in rubbing alcohol. And it's on a pirate ship. And it's on a pirate ship, but not like in the main part of the pirate ship. It's like it's on the deck. It's up top, and there's some salt in there from the sea air, and it's the second day. And an elephant seal came by the boat. <laughs> I, I believe you had a uh, you had a whiskey from like the Netherlands that you described as Gouda wrapped in cheese, thrown in a fire. With the plastic on and burnt. You know, yeah, Gouda cheese wrapped in a plastic toy and thrown in a fire. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, the king of descriptions that just, I mean, that was inspired. I think I felt yeah. like, damn, I got to catch up to Scott. What I wanted to do, though, let's talk a little bit because in the, bra in, in, uh, the third bracket, a serious contender to move on but did not was the Brook Lottie Octomore 6.3. True. One of the heaviest peated scotches at 258 parts per million. And I told Bart, I think what happened was this is really good. It's wine cask influenced. And I think some of the subtleties of this, at least for my palate, were washed out by the other peats. On its own, on its own, I still believe this is gorgeous. And I'm gonna, we're gonna open this and I'm gonna try it. It is gorgeous. Did you, you know, and by the way, you missed the best quote. Um, before I say it, I'm going to lead in. Did I not struggle with picking things to move forward in that third shootout? You struggled like a teenager girl picking a boyfriend. Let's just say that. <laughs> wow. Now what you missed on your quote should have been for the love of Pete. And I would have died, dude. I would have rolled over and went, damn, you just hit that quote on the head. <laughs> you would have said, for the love of Pete, just pick one. I was like, done. dear God. If you notice, I didn't drink for like 15 minutes, dude. I you were going back and forth and trying to decide and coming up with descriptors nobody cared about. And it's like, <laughs> for, just I, pick one, A I or B, to, what is it? I, I had to leap from the pirate ship. All right, swing on the lines back over to the sloop and then taste or lick some tar from that ship before I was ready to make a decision. But yeah, had you said for the love of Pete, dude, I would have blown up. <laughs> you were that close to hitting the best dang tagline ever. For the love of Pete, just pick one. I would have been like, oh, how'd you do that? <laughs> now back uh, back real quick. Let's go back. Tom R had brought up the packaging and the bottling. Is the Octomore worth it? I still believe so on some of them. This one definitely. I'm gonna pour it. But like I said, I just I think some of the subtleties of this, the wine influence, it's so smooth, it's so subtle. It was lost in the in the the rapture of the peep moment. Cowbell. We need cowbell. a little cowbell. I do need the cowbell for it. We need a little cowbell. <laughs> you I gotta have more cowbell. More cowbell. We have that here somewhere. What we need it with a little more. I get all close up on it. Like cowbell sound. Ooh, watch out! Hey, whiskey in the six just gave us. There we go. Woo. Uh, nice super chat came in from Whiskey Dick and Whiskey in the Six. Thank you guys. Thirteen ninety nine Canadian. How much is that, Scott? That's like two fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of the Canadians. Well, you know what was funny? I was watching uh, Malted in Montreal. Swami did a live stream last night. It was a long one, but he started with my bourbon journey, um, bourbon. Scott. They had a few more people join in, and at some point, they, it got them to a, to a Canadian money talk. And even Scott from my bourbon journey points out that like $20 Canadian is like a dollar seventy five US. <laughs> hey, we got more cowbell. Hit that cowbell, baby. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. And you need another one because you didn't give whiskey in the six one. Well, we did. Yeah, we did the one. I guess they came. Uh, whiskey, Dick, whiskey in the six, and Drew Bill. Thank you guys for the super chats. Appreciate it greatly. 
Um, anyway, back to the Octomore <laughs> six point three. I really think I was telling Bart. I think some of the subtleties were this of this were lost in the peat shootout on its own. Still a fabulous whiskey. I'm going to crack this one, which I have not done. Wow. And uh, that one needs to breathe just a bit too. Well, we'll let it do that then. Thank you. I will tell you because I'll a be pirate ship needs to breathe. This I is will. like a barn, like in the sixties. <laughs> Keep going, man. You can't stop there. You had me on a trail. <laughs> it's like my grandpa's barn. You know, my grandpa had a farm. Right. And the hay bales were stacked there. up. This they were stacked up 12 high. And in in the spring, you could get there was a rope and you could swing from bale to bale. And then and the stopper. Bam. Just sniff that. <laughs> that is true. You want you want to try it? You want your own glass? You want a little bit of the oh, no. I will this, agree okay. with you. The that the six three palette for the rest of the night. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> the six three is phenomenal, but Ooh. I'm with you that I mean uh, again, spoiler. I mean, do you want to you I guess we can say what I picked in round three, right? Uh yeah. Or we, big we, already gave, we already gave the spoiler alert, so anybody sure. that's watching that doesn't want to know should have turned off by now. Uh, so far, I've been very. <laughs> I was stunned by my Ardbeg Ten pick when I that saw makes that. My teeth hurt. <laughs> Let that baby open up a little bit. That's a beautiful dram there. Though. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, as far as cousin Shane knows, uh, well, okay. I got some new shelves built back here behind me too. The last couple of weeks, I've been working on. Had to order some parts. Uh, the little shelves have come down off of the wall that could fall down at any time. Um, so now I have all, basically all of my whiskeys are now in this room with me. Um, almost a little over 200. Um, so anyway, the Lafroigs in the white tens, they come in about 50 parts per million on Pete. Um, Ardbeg is back there. Well, that's the dark cove. That's a special edition <laughs> might be a little bit higher, but this Octomore is 258 parts per million. Oh. Pete. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What's funny is, though, even when we first had it, it shocked me that it was a little more subtle. It wasn't like the Pete's a big stick. I actually think an Ardbeg 10 is a, uh, if, to me, feels like a stronger, but it's an ashier kind of smoke. It's very, it was very interesting. The educational process I've gotten so far, again, we'll just stop at number three, is that as a baseline with those Pete's, um, the peat almost, it fell into the background. It was a baseline. And then the things that I could pick up that were alongside of it was amazing. I mean, many times you and I would look at each other and go, man, this doesn't even seem like a peat bomb, but I know it is. So that was, that was intriguing to me. Go ahead. Uh, I, I forgot something I was going to mention. Whiskey <laughs> throttle. Whiskey Throttle says, admit, Scott, that I hired Cousin Shane to build my shelves for me. Negative. <laughs> I didn't do it. He That's all me. He surprised me. This is, this is his work. Maybe I'm, I'm maybe, a, maybe an instructional how-to video, but I kind of hate to also assume liability if someone built that shelf and didn't do it correctly and came crashing down. Then they'd sue yeah, I don't want to be responsible for Cowbell, cowbell. <laughs> that's for Dave. That's for David Howe. Thank you, David. Thanks, David. Personally, I love the nine point nine nine too. It's unique and it really came across well. Uh, Drew Bills from the Scotch Four Dummies. He's teasing us because he said he had an amazing Scotch tonight. We would love it, but we have to wait till he posts the review tomorrow. Oh, wow! I don't know if I can wait that long. <laughs> 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 Woo. And oh, I know what I was going to say. Jesse Voison said this: uh, the Octomore six point three needs about fifteen minutes to open up, so we're going to let it sit for a little bit. But Voison and and I are Pete brothers, baby. Pete brothers. Hello, Malted. Wow, wow. That's his team beat mine. We're giving him a couple. <laughs> But he said he wants somebody to expose something. <laughs> Hold on. That's easy. Oh, my Lord. Hold on. Hold on. Back. Wait. What All was right. it? I'll shut up. Expose that baby there right there. Baby. <laughs> I've got a thinning going on up top, and that's about as explicit as it is going to get. 
<laughs> Jason Fisk for the Nadora. Yeah. Uh, my advancing in, in number three, in fact, is on my new shelves back there right behind Shane. Grab that uh, Glenlivet Nadura uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. Beauty. What's, well, yeah. what, look what's next to it, Ardbeg Dark Cove. Yeah. Another one I've advanced so far. Yep. In the Pete Shootout. Uh, let's see, uh, Bart uh, Deshill, Bart, can I share with you my razor to take care of that? You know, it's more thinning than anything else, but uh, who knows? I might be full come over in a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> this one surprised me. I think that's why the hat started to make a bigger appearance. I'm no, it's to hat. You. Yeah, to hat. That's why my to hats have been coming in strong. I got to cover in what the, the, the exposure, you know, it was bad. I remember the first time I was out mowing or something, I came in and the next day I was like, why is my head up top hurting so bad? Well, I'd burnt the bald spot for the first time. <laughs> I was like, what, what's going on? And it's just continued to retreat ever since. So uh, whiskey Dick's got to go. He's been tuning in. Um, also, we got Eric Waits been uh, watching for a little bit. Uh, both have their own channels. Of course, most people probably know Whiskey Dick, Eric Wait. We've had Scotch Four Dummies in here, uh, Malted Man Cave, Malted in Montreal. Eric Waite's comments are just beautiful, man. He's always got wonderful comments coming in on the YouTube channel. Eric, well, Eric Waite is like um, the sleeper. I mm -hmm. mean, he's like, you don't expect this, this, the sense of humor that you get. Right. He's a right. sniper. Yeah. He's a sniper because all of a sudden, bam! Yeah. yeah, all of a sudden he's like, that looks like my ex wife. And you're like, oh my God. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm like, oh, who brought that one in? Eric did. Well, he, he says that you should join the Eric Waite Lookalike Club, which means shave your head, basically. Oh, I would, but I'm afraid once shaved, it shall never be seen again. I shaved my head before I got confused with Britney Spears. <laughs> I don't think that really happened. <laughs> I'm calling shenanigans. <laughs> well, let's look real quick. Jesse Voison is pointing out to go neat now with the Octomore. And most of these are a higher ABV, a cask strength. The uh, Octomore 6.3 is 64% ABV, which yeah. surprised me in our Pete shootout as well. We both chose and advanced the Kill Homan cask strength. Right. And it did not show, and I think it's 53, 56%, somewhere in there. It did not show that ABV at all. It was, to me, a, and we went through that bracket. And the rest of the shootout, I was like, you know, in, in bracket two, there wasn't a really heavy heavy hitter with ABV-wise. Yeah. It, 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 it hides it so well. It hmm. does. Yeah, I mean, it's, what did you say? It's 64? That's what Boyson said, right? Yeah. No, yeah, I looked, yeah. And, and when we tried it, I mean, I didn't get an overpowering ABV from it. I mean, it was good. That was, again, one of the tough ones. Mm. Mm. Uh, Eric Waite says that the Marine Corps shaved his head in 1985, and it's never grown back since. <laughs> so, And to point out real quick, my bourbon journey is watching also. Um, Scott, who joined Malted in Montreal last night on a live stream, a four hour long one. I watched about two and a half hours today while I was putting up some of my, doing some of my shelving work or I listened to it while I was putting up real good job. Actually did a real, did real well. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, well. I know what that means. I know what that means now. <laughs> yep. Simple diversion, baby. They, Hey, they've been, or I don't know if they, but I, um, there's been some simple diversion comments on my board game channel as well. Really? Yeah. yeah. Graham, Graham and Rob, we had them on a couple weeks ago. Um, I think it was Graham was, uh, right. was a was a big board gamer. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, he was he was more old school board game, and I I tipped him off. Which actually, cousin Shane has played Risk Legacy with my group. Yes. Yep. And because uh, he was a big Risk fan, and I said you got to try this Legacy where the board morphs and there's stickers and destruction and all kinds of cool stuff. Matter of fact, cousin Shane. Pull the fast one on me. I won the last game. Yep. I, I had a plan. He punched me in the nose, and instead of following the plan, I was pissed. And I, <laughs> I ignored what probably would have been an easy win, and I went for retribution. Turned out that doesn't work too well. Nope. Revenge is never the answer. Nope. 
but it was beautiful. I got to tell you, when you came back and then everybody at the end was like, I can't believe all you needed to do to win. And I'm like, damn it, I got colored in rage. <laughs> <laughs> I got sucked into North America and I couldn't get back out. It was terrible. That was a brilliant game. Though. I'm telling you, it's been nice. Uh, skin Ooh, 19, how? Skin oh. 19 head 69 wants to know, and, and this came up earlier and I, and I, we got past it before I remembered the comment. Oh. Thoughts on a double measure of bourbon topped with half apple juice, half simple syrup, yeah. <laughs> or more juice and a small spoon of sugar instead of syrup. Sounds pretty close to a um, rust, like, a rusty nail. Sounds like grandma's apple pie. Mm. Mm. I like it straight. You always put bourbon in a recipe. I saw David Howe is a war gamer. Uh, David, I can't remember if you've been on my channel or not, but check it out. It's mostly war games. Uh, Drew Bills from the Four Dummies, he says, tell Bart one of my guys, Rob M., is a major board gamer, and he knows you well. Wow. Rob M. Indianapolis, okay. Indianapolis area. Wow. Well, Indy's got some great cons. They've got Origins. Well, is it Origins? Yeah, I think it is. So beautiful. <clears throat> Woo. Jesse said to try my nose now. Still getting just a lot of peat. A little bit of a perfumey smell. Danny's Velvet Elvis and me on the war games. Apparently he doesn't want he wants to see my jeans instead, Danny. <laughs> Danny. A lot of vanilla. I know I put my nose in that and it. Woo, I smoke a pipe, people. That's what oh, it feels like I'm putting my nose in right now. A little right, bit of pipe, Origins, pipe tobacco. Pipe tobacco. Origins is Columbus. What was I thinking? You're right. Wow. Mm. That's good stuff. Still making my teeth hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blanking on where Gen Con is. Bend over, I'll show you. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> hey, I want to take the, a minute to put a shout out to the uh, dummy that designed this decal here. This design. We appreciate you. And uh, everybody loves it. Mm. That's so. right. Are you able to? Sh I know who you're talking about. But all right, we'll leave it there. That's right. That's right. Sorry. Disregard. <laughs> I want to post the name name. That's right. That's why I got quiet. I started to go, and then it was like, oh. Nah. <laughs> uh, to do. Ooh, yeah, Danny says pirate jeans. I probably would have described him as on fire. <laughs> I added in a little bit of ad lib there, Danny. Yeah, by the way, Jesse Voison is kind of almost mirroring or Pete shootout as it goes. And when he doesn't have a matching bottle, he, he has a little runoff heat to bring another one in and does a challenge with, I mean, I'm, I, I've been reading his notes and uh, kind of even enjoying the little switcheroo. He did a, uh, an elite eight, which was a kind of a nice little twist there, Scott. I kind of like the idea. Well, he only had, um, I think there was only two bottles that he didn't have of our 16. One was the McCarthy's. Right. And was it the Nadori didn't have the other one? I don't remember for sure, but yeah, he'll, he'll pop in. But I like the idea that uh, he also had that elite eight that he kind of pulled in there. Because if we did an elite eight, we could advance one from each of the two. You know, like we could advance one and two. Would one of yeah, those? Yeah, advance two. Advance two from each bracket. Love it. Yeah, I think I overexplained that. It would become it would become a six bracket then, basically. Mm. Mm. Maybe but we'll you know what? Here. We also Bart. We also talked about. We still have. We probably have twelve more. People were like, "Well, why did you include you know English Whiskey Company or yes. McCarthy's?" We wanted to throw a couple of different ones in there just to see how they did. Wildcats. But like, we still have Kilhome and Mockier Bay. We still have a couple of Froigs. We still have a couple of Ardbegs. I mean, we still have enough. We could probably have yeah, the Corey time. Brecken. We can do another sixteen bottle peat shootout. God, keep talking like that. And keep why it. not? Yeah. <laughs> it's dirty. We need pirate ship too. <laughs> it's like Pirates of the Caribbean just keeps going, even though the first one was best. They're making money. 
Let's see. Do, 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 do. Blind Whiskey Reviews, Whiskey in the Six. No, you don't. I don't even know what's going on. I've lost track of their conversation. Uh, yeah, winner of the peach shootout versus winner of the bourbon shootout. Wow. <laughs> with, uh, with me picking a bottle of wow, that could be tough. Still be Pete. Not a fan of the Irish whiskey. Wow, Brian Schultz. You got to try some of the Jameson stuff's really good. I'm telling you. That castmates was good, but I love their black uh I think, black bottle. Yeah, I, I think the stout, the stout edition of the castmates, I think, is still better. It is better. But that IPA, okay. Now, fact is, because because um cousin Shane is here, the Jameson IPAs grab that tan right by the Lafroigs that glint over. No, no, the other way. The tan. Grab that one. That's yeah. a that's a Scotch. That's Man, India H. Pale Ale. Yeah. Now, try that one next to the Jamesons. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And the and you're right. Somebody uh, I missed it. it was signed by someone said the Red Breast is good. The Red Breast Lestau is good. We've had that on the shelf for a while. Well, Tom Hart says we should have a Compass Box shootout, which we could after the live stream. We opened enough bottles of them. Oh my God, you did good on that one, dude. <laughs> that was like a cornucopia of joy that I didn't even want to leave your house. I couldn't leave your house for a while, even. We we drink responsibly. You I was in an Uber. Yeah, well, I just stayed and went. In a, uh, we we got in a tub together. <laughs> we did actually. Yeah. The hot tub. The hot tub. That's a good. That's a good place to be. It is. It is. Um, Eric Waite says, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, we should throw in a Connemara. Oh, that's the one that... <laughs> I, I do want to go back to that. You got that. That's your bottle, Bart. You have that at your house. I do want to go back sometime just to see how it did, how it does it's, now. I think it's gone. I'll have to buy a new one of that. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Whiskey? Scotch. Whiskey? Scotch. <laughs> Scotch Good. whiskey? Better. Good, mm. better. This has got the ashtray in it. No, what? It's huh? What? Let, no, him, let, him, let him, let him do oh, his no. palate, baby. Let him do his palate. All it right. might be different from us. I'm gonna go in uh, first sip on the Octomore, six point three. Go in, baby. Yeah, Connemara does have a different kind of peat taste. I, I guarantee that. Mm. I'm being quiet so we can hear your horse swish. Now that's appetizing right there. That makes me want to. Uh, yeah. Wow. Boy, that's potent. Was that a punch in the face? I was trying hard not to cough a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. Man, it is good, though. It is so sweet and rich and peat, smoked meats. Cigarette ash and the sweetness, the fruit sweetness and stuff that's in there with it too. Mm. Get any tobacco? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. I L Glocker. First of all, like the name. I haven't seen you tune in before. He says thanks for the reviews. New to the bourbon arena, just got the bottle of Wow C nine seventeen. We never saw this batch C here. Hey, who sent us these again? That's cool. Yeah. Why'd you have to ask me on air now? Was Sorry. that? Uh, I want to say Robert Raymer. So you know, got, he's got his blend there. This is called Party Foul, and it's a it's a nice homemade blend. And he's even got his little little sticker on that side, and it's kind of neat. It's in like a maple syrup bottle. I love it. You need, the, there's water there. It's you always the that. first. Wow. Which one? Uh, Shane going back and forth between the Jameson IPA and the Glenfiddich IPA. What do you think? Well, whenever I drink scotch, that first punch on the tongue gets me, but then afterwards, it yes, it opens up, and there, you're like, "Wow, there's so much more flavor." They're they're both good. They're both good. 
but I think the Glenn Fiddick is just a little bit, a is a little richer. Big and poop to be drinking this, and then all of a sudden this came along. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think the, the the Jamesons is still good, but I think the Glenn Fiddick is just a little bit richer, a little it bit is. smoother, fuller little, flavor, fuller, yeah. more Hello, more of an experience. Into cruising, ding ding ding. Hold on, it's more of an experience. Oop. Oh, what was that? That one gets a couple. Yeah, he's drinking Pete from the bottle. Free bird, he said. Free bird. <laughs> I'm as free as a bird now. And this bird you cannot cage. Whoa. And this bird you cannot cage. That's all you get. Sweet. <laughs> now, I doubt Cousin Shane watched our live stream with uh, Glenn Fiddick Tracy. I did not. We got Glenn Fiddick Tracy mm -hmm. to sing a little tune for us. I heard that she was good, though. And I saw, I, the, I I saw said, the comments. I said, Cousin Shane is fired, <clears throat> basically. Yeah. yeah. So let's see if I can pull that up. That's all you can do. I mean, all of course, you can do is what you can me. do. See, I wouldn't say fired. I would say duet. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, that came up. Someone said uh, Glenn Fiddick Tracy and Cousin Shane on a duet. Let's see if I can pull up uh, Glenn Fiddick Tracy. Beautiful voice. She's done some yeah, um, acting. Was, yeah, stage plays. And, and, and left to get in to become a Glenn Fiddick ambassador. <laughs> That's cool. And I, everyone's now, what, uh, about what minute, Mark, was it? Do you remember? That she sang? No, it was yeah, near. It was like the last fourth, though, that it was in. So, uh, Phil and Tom, I like your hat there, Cousin Shane. It's a good-looking hat. It is a good-looking hat. <laughs> little Spartan helmet. Some By the way, it's got a, gave that to me. It's got a Glenn Karen nose, if you take a look. See, mm -hmm. there you go. Boom. Kind of nice. Uh, Claire the third says she sang near the end, five minutes from the endish. Yes, is, almost there is what Voison says. Endish, by the way, cousin Shane, Voison uh, flew F 15s and F 111s. What, yeah, Air Force fella, sweet, yeah, F 111s, awesome. a nape of the earth bomber, like 50 feet off the deck kind of thing. God bless you. And it's got one of the coolest, like, you know, the F-15 is the, the Eagle or the Strike Eagle. The F-111 is the Aardvark. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be because it had a long, thin nose, I'm guessing. What'd she sing for you? I can't remember the name of it. Summertime. There it is. Summertime? Yep. And it's at uh, one hour and 13 minutes into our stream with her. I'm going to put it here by the, by the uh, mic so we can hear. Cousin Shane should just uh, be embarrassed by this. Oh, no. And live is And the cotton is high. Ooh, your daddy's rich and your mama's coming So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Holy oh. crap. <laughs> cousin, I'm telling you, Cousin Shane is fired. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pretty lady, we could make some beautiful music together. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Better even with the iPhone mic, laugh out loud. Yeah, I know. It still holds its own, though. It does. So beautiful. Voice and Bart, are you sipping on the Octomore 6.32? No. I've got our Infinity bottle, which is a conjoining of everything that was left over after the 16-bottle peach shootout. So it's kind of intriguing, a little bit shocking, a little bit tobacco dare I say a little bit pirate ship. 
<laughs> yeah, dare you say? <laughs> dare you? Mm -hmm. Like, do you just sit around trying to think of weird stuff to say to describe your nose? Well, now you sound like Jason Miller. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yes, Jason Miller. Going. Yep, I figured you had it. There was a coworker back in the day that I would just come up with funny little topics, and he'd be like, "You just sit at home and write this stuff, and then come in." I, yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> so. I know, I, I know, Bart. It just it just comes to you. I mean, I'm the same way. It just comes to you. you just just let it go. Let it flow. Just flows. How about I L Glocker? <laughs> I L Glocker. Woo. He's new. He gets two. 9.17, baby. Thank you, I.L. Glocker. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. What's Loch Ness says, Bart, you helped push me to the Isla. Thank you. It's a wonderful place. It is. It took me a while to warm up as well. I actually thank Scott and uh, Sir John from Glacier there of Compass Box and his Pete Monster because that was the Pete that opened me to a big big powerful world so uh, the peat monster really did it for me let me punch me in the tongue with that uh cousin shane's gonna go in on the octomore 6.3 i'm sitting here sipping it i've added a little bit of water and added another little splash of water it, it is a beautiful dram and like i say with the peat shootout i think it just the some of the the subtleties of it were just lost in the peat on its own it's beautiful now let that one saturate your palate but then come back in that one's going to take over mm. <laughs> yeah everything i just did is gone yep wow now, now just do another one now you've got your palate saturated I'm with on it fire yeah now you want to now the next one will give you a little bit more Ooh. very sweet a lot of the fruit notes are coming out the, I mean, along with the peat, the cigarette ash, the smoked meats. I'm getting ribs. Hey, George, George. <laughs> I've got some smoked ham. Smoked ribs. I'm, get, I'm getting ham. I'm getting George, some dead. I'm getting dead pig. George Kaplan has to go feed the monkey. He says night, guys. Is that code for something? I don't know. I think it means like feed the monkey. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dammy. <laughs> Triple Cap wants to know who it was that sent the 6.3 to the Scotch Test Dummies, wow. and it was it was him. That's good. Oh, Triple Cap's great. And the Ardbeg Dark Cove committee release. Thank you. Both of those blew me away, actually. You want a little shot of that? Because I had had the 6.1 yeah. Octomore, expected great things, felt a little let down, never planned to return to the Octomore again. Trip Cap sends the 6.3. I taste it. We taste it live, and I was immediately blown away. Ran and got my six one. Did a direct comparison. It still didn't hold a candle to the six three. Right. And uh, off I went to go buy the six three. Yeah, me too. Matter of fact, not even being a peat head like you. Correct. Correct. There you go. And the dark cove. Good Lord, did the that's exact good. same thing. I went on a hunt for the dark cove right away. Thank goodness I was able to track down two of them. Mm. You know, it's out uh, now too, Bart. Ding, ding, ding. What? Oh, we got Cowbell! One in. Uh, if you can see it, brand new third edition uh, Scotch Test Dummy Glen Cairns. We're almost out of uh, edition two. Only a few left. Uh, so the new one is in. If you can see the dummies are on there, Scotch Test dummies at the top and Solancha dummies at the bottom. Love it. Awesome. Yeah, our, our uh, version two just had our name, Scotch Test dummies, on a little cleaner design. And then version one had our original artwork that didn't have a little bit different dummies. And then on the back, what did it have on the back? Scotch Test dummies, but it was the double logo on both sides. It was didn't take good pictures it wasn't yeah. good yeah so but that was rare too Whew. dustin also known as dh silv 2 who you don't know how to pronounce i never do <laughs> sounds like a like a dark elf sure on a pirate ship <laughs> and skyrim yeah 
Mm-mm-mm. Octomore 6.3. Beauty foul. Wow. You can get that right here. From right here, you can get it. Mm. Did you add a splash of water to it? I did. Yeah, Danny says one dummy has a bald spot. Boom. Mm. Um, I replied to Eric Waite. He left a comment on um, one of the brackets of the Pete shootout because we were talking about how you cleanse the the soft palate or the nose um, sensing in between whiskeys. You know, you do, use a, a jar of coffee beans. You do that with, with whiskey too? Yeah. My um, wife showed me that at a perfume place the other day. It was pretty yeah, neat. Same, oh, really? Same idea. Unground yeah. coffee beans is what I like to call them. But uh, what Eric Waite suggested was using a, a briefcase full of uh, of cash, to do <laughs> or and then but then you have to follow it. you have to follow that with the feather of a bald eagle. Oh, and I said, well, we have the cash. We'll have to get the feather of the bald eagle. And I add in the make it just a feather of a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you go with that one. I'm not gonna smell a that. A dead one. pigeon but, rubbed on the back of a young. I.L. Glocker wants uh, <laughs> uh, I.L. Glocker uh, email Scott at scotchtestdummies.com for information on samples. No, it was neat. I was looking at perfume with my wife, I guess. She, she had me there. And she'd give me a snort of something. I'm like, good Lord, how can I ever smell anything again? And then she'd give me this little shaker that had coffee beans in it. And I'm like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> like, sniff it. So I did, hmm. and it worked. It was neat. Science. Now I think it was a uh, <laughs> Gachain or Gawkin. Well, you're the king of pronouncing. He uh, <laughs> he was he was at a tasting, and they gave him some coffee beans to nose. Not knowing any better, he ate a couple of them, <laughs> and and the guy was like, uh, "No, you're just supposed to smell them. You don't do that here." <laughs> <laughs> those were them coffee beans that the monkeys eat i didn't know i was supposed to just sniff them <laughs> Ooh, that would have been me man that's what i would have done and bruno would have had a story for the rest of all time uh drew 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 bills is heading out thanks drew for tuning in Appreciate bye dummy see you bills had a quiet moment no this is good it's like wham on the tongue, but it's good. Yeah. Uh, Cousin Shane, who's not a big uh, peat head, hasn't had a lot of them, likes Irish whiskey, mm -hmm. bourbon, rice. Sweet bourbon. You can and eat rye. coffee beans. I've had some coffee beans that are roasted and dipped in chocolate before. Wow, this is good. <laughs> this is <laughs> good. <laughs> there you go. There you go, people. Octomore 6. Look what you people did to me. This is good. Hi, Scott. Right at my bourbon journey. Ditto. It was good to meet you. I don't think oh, he's yeah, they, talking to us. No, Scott. Uh, my bourbon journey at name of Scott as well. He's talking about they were on the live stream with uh, Swami last night. Right. Threw me for a second. Hey, I need to tell you, too. I've managed to score. They're not in yet. Three more manga shirts, baby. Woo! It's nothing to be proud of, dude. It is, man. <laughs> And you know now I've got a Korean connection too that's looking for more. Yeah. Straight from the motherland, Korea. Do South. you wear do you wear those in public? Not really. <laughs> exactly. That's all I'm I saying. will from now on. You told me you were gonna take me out to a mall and I had to wear it. I'll do it. Yeah, do it. We'll film it. Move 76, want? my favorite whiskey so far. I enjoyed and i really 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 liked the high west rendezvous rye mm. it was oh well very nice yeah uh, yeah that here no but i got a high west <laughs> midwinter night's dram oh, which is pretty good well. and i've got michter's toasted barrel finish you would really like i think i've had that before but you've you the octomore 6.3 we're gonna have to work through that first punch and then my tongue maybe go to a little beer let your palate cleanse now if you so. people get a chance to try this victory at sea 2017 barrel aged yeah it's good that was very good and at price point makes you happy 
Sounds like it's pirate involved. Hey, there is a pirate. Look at it. There's a dead guy behind the wheel of a pirate ship right there. That's what I'm talking about. Here. <laughs> I mean, there most people probably. I actually uh, I turned this. I'd had the regular ballast. The barrel one age. of the coffee. Do it. Ones I did not like it, so I passed on this one. And then uh, Shane got it, and he said, oh, "Dude, you missed out." And mm -hmm. he was right; I did. It is good, and you can't do wrong with a skeleton behind the wheel of a pirate ship in a lightning storm. It looks and we're like. bringing it all around, full circle. Whiskey Throttle wants to know: Does Scott have a list of his collection by name? Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> 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 you do not have a whole list. bunch. Most, a whole bunch. Most of my stuff is uh, has been reviewed. Um, I have very few that haven't been reviewed yet. Um, I, I suppose there's a few high dollar ones that haven't been reviewed yet. The, I got a 20 year Spring Bank single cask, uh, ex -bur or a bourbon refill cask that's just uh, phenomenal. A few compass boxes that haven't been opened. The Blood Oath. Uh, pack three and pack two. I want to say Matt Rossetti says he has a couple manga shirts that were made in Australia and they're similar to Bart's and he loves them. Bam. Well, you should go marry him. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to a liquor store? Bart and Matt. Sit there it is right you. there. <laughs> Are your collections insured, Jason Fisk? Well, we've got uh, insurance on the home that would probably cover some of it, as I guess, as long as we can show it on video. You know, I'll tell you, though, uh, <laughs> Whiskey Throttle has been in on a few live streams, and we should have him on one. He's got a hell of a collection. He's been he's been in the game a lot longer than we have, Bart, and he's got phenomenal stuff that you just were really? giving. Oh, Dang. yeah. Dang it. When did he get into the game? 97? Throttle, how long you been? How long you been uh, buying whiskeys? Yeah. See, and Eric Waits got it. A pirate's favorite peated whiskey is Ardenburg. <laughs> See, there's the sniper right there. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know why pirates are so funny? Why? They just are. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I just took the last little bit and threw it in my mouth there because that's what I do. And I think I'm on fire. <laughs> Jesse wanted to know, are we working on a poster for the Peach Shootout? We thought there might be one, but we are not 100% sure. No. Uh, Symbol Diversion is asking about the Jack Daniels Gold, which is funny. Um, I got that at work at Christmas time from uh, some people I work with. Shane, <laughs> Shane, Cousin Shane being one of them. Woo! And I brought it up. I said, maybe we ought to open up that Jack Gold. And he said, at a later time. So it's got to be a special moment, people. Sounds good. And we're going to hold off. All right. We will hold off. Special moment. Oh, uh, look at look at Tom R's eyesight. He can see our uh, Glenn Cairns back here, Bart. Wow, yes. We, these are after we do the uh, championship when we release the championship we'll put these up on ebay these are the two championship glasses one from the ardbeg dark cove up, 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 it. well it's just no it's just two that was in there i guess and then the other one yeah i guess i better say nothing did you do a spoiler yeah. oh and it's, you said i was yours people you it's, said i was going to be the one to blow it no, no it's just one that was in there, there what are you talking did. about there you're blowing it up now is one of eight. Gee, many Christmas. Is one of eight. <laughs> but Bart brought up, we'll put these on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> you blamed him. Now, hey, uh, Bart. Hey, Bart, why don't you tell me about when we signed those? I forgot completely. I told him we should have signed them. He's like, you idiot. We did. <laughs> <laughs> How come you don't remember? You were drunk. No, it was in, it was, well, there was a little bit of that. It was in what I call a deep Pete Smoky Haze. There could be a song called Smoky Pete Haze right there, Cousin Shane. Well, <laughs> you need like Lenny from Motorhead to sing it. Deep Pete Motor Smoky Haze. <laughs> <laughs> or Tom Waits. Tom Waits. Any people out there like Tom Waits? Tom Waits is Cookie Monster. I like him. 
Yeah. You got it, Moose. He, they spoiled it. No, that's not all. We don't always agree on what we have. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, there might be more than one. <laughs> they yeah. can still change it now. They're yelling loose but lips. He doesn't, he doesn't know. I don't know nothing. Loose lips, loose that's what lips. My wife says all the time. So <laughs> that is <it. laughs> Is that what you said about her? <laughs> that is funny. I think you guys got started well before me. That's yes. That's all I can say. Well, look at that. Whiskey Throttle says, I need to go live with Cousin Shane. Now, that sounds like code. That sounds like fun. <laughs> sounds like someone feeding the monkey. <laughs> Is it a capuchin? Yeah, simple version <laughs> says maybe they're trying right to try now. What do you want? Oh, you need to cleanse your palate. Oh, yeah, a this bit. thing needs to go away. Water, beer. Oh, here, wait. I got some beer. Just or there's the whiskey stand going. I got like a whiskey bomb. Bring that a little bit. And then we will move on. You like rye? <sighs> Are the wheels falling off? No. Hmm. Oh, that's for Malted. That was at Malted in Montreal. Sorry. Hey, so hey, giggle wiggle time. Yeah, Mark <laughs> took care of that earlier today <laughs> with the monkey. Yep, capuchin. What are you looking for? Let's just start here. Well, Hold on, you got, got to see some pants. That was Deal. for Danny. Ugh. Oh, disgusting. You do that on. He does that all the time, folks. It's terrible. <laughs> I like that you were able to show Danny your pants, however. Notice there's no bling on my pants. Yeah, but he's a pants of <laughs> Danny's a pants aficionado. Just of your Jordash jeans that have some rubies and uh, fake diamonds on them. Some zirconium. I need man pants that go at least 36 to 38 inches long. You this are a tall drink of water. I'm up there. My bourbon journey's going to bed. Always a pleasure. Bye, dummy. What do I need to try now? Dr. I've got David, it over here. Dr. David says, rye, rye, rye. I like the yes. way you talk, doctor. Like rye. I like rye. the way the doctor talks. Yeah, this is the, I got the Michter's barrel strength rye. I just was looking. It's not. He likes the rendezvous rides. A little sweeter. Uh, Tom R calls them uh, burnt dazzle jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the company bought those jeans for me. Yeah, that's an accomplishment there. That is. They were free. And yes, by the way, Welsh Toro, the wayside's actually thirty-eight to forty. So my length almost matches the uh, width. Uh, I Walker, thank you. I'll check it out here when I get a chance. That's pretty. Oh. I'm I drinking thought you, water first. I heard him drinking water. I was like, that's a strong uh, rye I just gave you. <laughs> I thought he was chugging that thing down. <laughs> uh, Jesse, we would love to have a sherry scotch. I don't know if it'd be cast strength 2018, but we're probably going to do a sherry. We're getting ready to tool up for 12 hours of boom. Cousin Shane will be back. Boom. Uh, we're going to have Shakes Pennington on acoustic guitar, and that Cousin Shane may even oh, be. I thought I was fired. Nope. You're fired, dude. You're not. You, you hear may, her? You may you even hear be. Her. She, she's got a pretty boy. You may even be watching over comments uh, live. Scott, uh, we needed somebody on comments when we were doing the 12 hours of boom. Yeah. <laughs> Bart met his wife in his Jordash jeans. In fact, it, well, we need uh, cousin Shane. We need to let know July 7th. We're looking at for the 12 hours of boom. So clear your calendar. I got a, I'm going to be a grandpa. Wow. Well, well we're going to see her. When? And him. Uh, 
uh, sometime in July, but it, probably not the first of July. But we can we haven't we haven't set the date yet. That okay. was the one we're. Well, I'll let you know when I'm going to go see my grandchild, so I don't interfere with your twelve hours of bone. No, we got it. Yeah, <laughs> we got, you got to be there. It's set, brother. We set it. Okay. No, it's not. Don't fight. I'll stop the car. It's we fun. looked at it last year was July 8th, so we said, How about July 7th this year? That'll, but nothing's been put out. I mean, we said, Yeah, maybe that's it. That'll probably work. All right. We have you, done, have you done a poster for it yet, Bart, or put anything uh, out on it? I have not done a poster for it yet. We've only talked about it three times. Jackpot. There we go. <laughs> it could be July 31st, people, on a Tuesday. <laughs> 31st? I'm just making shit up. Oh, okay. <laughs> There went our monetization. We were look good. what you did. Dang it. Dang it. Just dropped it in. Dropped it in. Barto. Too, much, the pirate, Jordan has, too much pirate ship for you. I think Jordan's jeans had us before the yes. Oh. What is this? Victor's barrel strength, right? You should love it. The only thing probably better, I think, might be their toasted, mm. which is at least easier to find. Hello. Ding, Hello. ding, 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 ding. Ah, damn, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I knew you'd like that. Yes. That was my number two in the rice shootout. I Scott. like it. Number one. Oh, Whiskey Throttle says, drink from the bottle, Shane, and these dummies need to give you a raise. Is Scott always <laughs> Boston? Is well, talking about firing me and all they give me is a couple of drinks of whiskey every now and then. That's right. Bossy. Bossy. There, he wants you to drink from the bottle. Oh, okay. I ain't. Oh, wait, let's show him just so they know. I don't think I've ever there. done this before. He's being bossy. <laughs> Mick, Michter's barrel strength. Rye whiskey. What is it? Fifty-seven uh, percent ABV. But don't scare me. I mean, you got to talk about forty. It. You got to talk about it. You just grab whiskey, you look at it, you go, "It's forty. Just don't get any backwash in there. <laughs> you don't kill him. Yet. Watch this. You don't just, guzzle it. You'll Ain't die. It? You got to talk to keep the camera going. <laughs> You'll die. Bartle, well, start talking. I can lock it in. Yeah, I'm gonna say Bartle does. start talking, and then we won't get nothing. Hey, yo, sir, something. I won't even there. touch my lips. Go about like this. Pirate you just go like this. Now. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> now, now that'll get his Oh bite. wow. <laughs> Mercy mine. I, I gotta get an Uber now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Bart Bart and I are filming in the morning, so Woo! wow Shane can, Shane can drink all you want, people. I'm just working tomorrow. <laughs> Holy moly. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. That just grabs your tongue, holds on to it, and then pulls the lighter out of the pocket and lights it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, Danny said, Shane, sleep it over. <laughs> <laughs> Food Quig is off the grid with science fiction novels and whiskey. Now that, Quig, we can hang out. Uh, William Burdine is asking how we like the sour mash. We have not had that one. I would love to find that one from the Michter's range. I'm glad I'm glad uh, Cousin Shane did it that way so I didn't have to worry about backwash. No backwash. Yeah, I'm, I'm I don't sure know, I believe in it. Sure, the ABV couldn't have killed a little bit of Cousin Chain. <laughs> you did good. I would have spilled that all over my face if I could. Oh, that's years of practice. Yeah, you are skilled, my friend. How about 72% George No, I, I do one of those. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not your little punching bag here. <laughs> it's like somebody, you make a beer somebody, in the 12 hours of boom. You're like, yeah. you got to do it. Back in college, you used to do, it. to do it. I ate an egg off his floor one time. It was a disgusting floor, oh but I did God. it. I remember. I know. What you, I remember that. And that's, <laughs> that was all your own doing because we were disgusted. I do not want to hear your college stories. He was a part of the college story. 
I know. Yeah. First of all, Bart and I go back to 1995. Cousin Shane and I go back to about 1990. Yep. He's got Good five, times. Years, five years on me. Bart says he feels left out sometimes because, like, oh, because we got the history. Bart. That is true. Bart. <laughs> Bart. Like that. You just broke out the egg, and I'm like, I don't even know of what you Bart. Speak. You're important. And we love you. <laughs> What's funny is 23 Phenomenal. years, 23 years every once in a while, I'm like, well, how am I the new guy? God dang it. <laughs> well, when you're talking 35 years, there's something there. <laughs> yeah, I get around you and we're Gatch. getting old. Gatch will be there. High tower rolls in. Let me show him the picture. And next thing you know, I'm like, what? I'm my, only my screen's broken. Well, I tell you what, we can do the one from the, the four of us. Yes. So, about two years ago, people, I let my music, I let I let my music take a back seat for a long time, and so I started singing for these guys and having fun. That's that one you want to show, or which one? No, with me, you, and Gatch, okay. and Penny. That's what I thought. So, <clears throat> about two years ago, I got invited to uh, try out for a band. And that's what this whole shirt thing is about, Crossfire. There's a local band here in town, or all of us are of the same profession. And we got together, and, uh, and uh, they let me be their singer. So, they like me, even though you guys don't anymore. I do. So, last night we had a a really good uh, gig, and uh, this picture that Scott's going to show you is uh, four of us, and that's from like, oh, 1991, this crew got together, or even earlier, 1990. Now, see if you notice, I'm actually, this was last night, I'm wearing a Scotch Test Dummy Test It t-shirt, Bart would be wearing some funky manga pirate ship japanese <laughs> akiru I cross I don't, that. I don't need to i don't need to foist it on people my friend <laughs> but those four people there have been friends non-stop for a lot of years so and bart you're just as important to us as the rest of us <laughs> but don't feel left out I I do not, it's not a left out feeling. It's just like you would think I, every once in a while, I'm not in on the egg on the floor story. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I was an, I was, well, I shouldn't say that. I was a behind hole then. Ooh. When? Back then. Remember Ooh. I put my elbows through your drywall? Yeah, you that was dumb. Oh, <laughs> uh, you, you were like 20 years old, probably. Yeah. Yeah. No, put, that was when he's 18. I put 19. Scott. We lived together in a house, and we were wrestling. We were wrestling around, and I put him through the drywall. Okay. <laughs> it looked well. First of all, it looked like you know the Scooby Doo films when someone runs yeah. through the wall. Yeah. And there's, there's like this imprint yeah, left in of the wall. Yeah. A person. There's That's a person like. in the wall. That was him. I put him through the wall. And so, my wife's cousin owned the house we were renting, and she came over to visit. She was my girlfriend at the time, but she came over to visit, and so we we thought quick, and we put an American flag over <laughs> the Scott hole. <laughs> the Scott hole. And, and she walked in the door, and she's like, why is there an American flag hanging on the wall like that? Weird. And she moved it, which I suggested she not do. <laughs> she did. And she saw the Scott hole. And then Scott <laughs> reassured her that we... Now, Scott built these shelves by himself, people. Not me helping. It's beautiful. I think but the toaster... Scott, hey. Is the mixers <laughs> kicking in? So, Scott told her, he reassured her that we would fix the drywall where his body went through. Because <laughs> he messed with Cousin Shane, and he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have done that. It was a very small hole. 
He was tinier back then. Yes, he no, he's a little feller. He's pretty, he's pretty fit right now. He was a fat bastard back then. <laughs> anyway, we fixed the hole. It was atrocious. They sold the house. We left. Whiskey Throttle says he bet a lot of guys in college so Scott saw Scott's hole. <laughs> What are you doing? Looking those were those were different times. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They were the nineties. They were different. <laughs> we the nineties were uh were a uh growing period for the We humanity. better get more super chats because you're right, this one's not gonna be up for advertising. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh... Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, we're at hour and 15. Jeez. We better, right? I Shut love you, Marco. Oh, I love you too, Shane, especially when you <laughs> when you pour that barrel proof straight in. Good Lord. Any more thoughts on the birthday spring bank 20-year-old? Hmm? Scott, that's for you. Any more thoughts? Um... Well, that's the uh, the twenty year old spring bank in the light blue box, the uh, ex bourbon or the bourbon refill cask. We need to get a review shot of that one. That's the one I'll let you sample that one day, Bart, when you stop by. I remember it looks so tiny on the shelf next to everything else you got on that shelf. It's little. Oh, it does. Yeah, next to the all the compass boxes, doesn't it? Yep. Doctor Dave, you didn't miss anything but some crazy talk. And Scott's hole. <laughs> in the drywall. <laughs> Dan E came it's in. It's not a hole that, in the drywall. Like that would that. be called a glory hole. <laughs> no, know, it's not that lot, kind of drywall. A lot hole. of people are thinking, like, what kind of holes in the walls Good are Lord, we talking no. about? It's a Scott-sized hole <laughs> in the drywall. <laughs> or he's doing this. Because <laughs> I threw him through the drywall. <laughs> oh, Claire thirds in. See, Scott's back in college times right now. I could see him thinking, I remember that. <laughs> uh Matt Rosetti's asking three quarter or half inch, and he's talking about the uh the piping for the, the shelves that I built. It is the three quarter inch black pipe. Nice. Yeah, and then I used a two by tens for the shelves. Uh, I debated just, uh, I didn't want any, if, if, if I used one buys, I figure there could be some flexing or some bending of the shelves from the weight of the bottles. So I, two by eight, two by tens. Oh, two by 10. Yeah. Two by tens. Yeah. Probably could These have are fit. cool shelves, people. Yeah. Probably could have fit two by twelves in there, but eh, that's close. It's holding all my whiskey so far. There's still room. I got a lot of room left for another. I'm impressed. Yeah. Normally, Scott asked for help. He didn't this time. <laughs> now, see, that's, that's no, the Bart. stunning. No, no, that's the stunning part. I was just going to say you never asked me for help, and then I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Bart, you do you want to save it for a for a regular stream? You were listening to a podcast about people underestimating projects. Uh, yes, let's save that for. I think okay. that'd be a regular good topic. I think that'd be good on a recorded show. Hey, Scott, you don't need thick shelves for empty bottles, says. Lou. <laughs> no, there's no empties up there. Those are all. <coughs> Woo! Bless you. Yeah. Whiskey Scout, who's our uh, geologist, says hopefully no more earthquakes. Yeah. Well, that was one thing I had in mind with the shelves that I had up there before. True. Um, and, and redoing them. The, this is a lot more solid here. Right. You should. You could put a little bit of sticky tape down, and they would hold them a little bit too. Yeah, duct tape. Or duct tape, I guess. I'm looking at posts. Well, Eric Waite brings up Ikea. And that's funny because I told the wife there's an Ikea 200 miles away in Kansas City. And so I said, you know, I need to get some 
for over here, I need to get some shelves. Let's run up to Kansas City to Ikea sometime. And I've got other bookshelves over here that are from Ikea. But I got to looking online and I was like, well, it's going to be about $500, $600 for shelving. And we got to run to Kansas City and get them and come back. So um, I took the initiative and built them myself for under a little under $200. Well done. Um, they look cool. Yeah. Whiskey, Whiskey Throttle says they heard about my uh, hired shelf builder in the earlier episodes. That's true. He had a stroke about midway. <laughs> the, whole, the whole project ground to a halt for 10 months while I looked at like rough built stuff. Bart went for the cheap labor, not the professional labor. Yeah. And you're talking about a $15,000 difference. So good call. <laughs> we love you, Bart. Yeah, I think I made the good call on that one. You did. You did. Well, you're still, are you, you, are, you job. are you done though? Are you completely done? It is now done. Yeah. He, now. He, it's now done from when? Two years? $15,000 hey, difference. Cow out. <laughs> cow out. Whiskey Mark. in the six. Mark. Yes. Scott gets me when he's drunk. <laughs> Scott hasn't put up a quote. Since Scott hasn't put up a quote in a while, name this one. Quote, it's a funny feeling being taken under the wing of a dragon. It's warmer than you would think. Oh, I don't know that one. Does Shane? Movie quote. The thing is, I ran out of space. I used to have the quote up here. And um, I just got so many bottles, everything was taking up room, trying to keep everything out that the uh, the movie quotes got. It's been a while since I put up a movie quote. I'm trying to think of the dragon deal. Dragonheart? Yeah, it's the only I could think of. What was the other one that had that little fella that, uh, oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Beat? Dragon? Huh? Nope. All right. Come on, Whiskey in the Six. Give us the answer. Aragon. Shane needs a bottle shot of Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof. Ooh, that's the double barrel. It's really good. That's over there. How to train your dragon. Knob really? Creek 25th. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not the answer yet. Booker's Rye. And Scotch. I'm good. All kinds of Lafroy. I'm good with what I got right here. The fella yeah. is Scotch. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, is devious. That's very good. That'll knock your palate out of your face. Yeah. It's good stuff. All right. We haven't had an answer yet. Rob's beard and Bart's jeans. On the go, Rob, you answered Gangs of New York. Oh. What? Gangs of New York. Um, I'm going to go for a little bit of our uh, Pete shootout. In Bill the Butcher. Infinity oh, bottle. That was a long <laughs> movie. The big part I remember that is when what's his name? <laughs> Reed, <laughs> What's his name leaves his expensive watch hanging and nobody wow, else. Uh, well, there you go. Gangs in New York. Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. Eric <laughs> Waite nailed it. I love the sniper. You know what? That's Eric's new like street name is the sniper. <laughs> That's what we're calling him from here on out. Eric Waite, the sniper. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a he's a Marine, so he'll love that. God bless you. Thank you for your service. Well, and actually, um, DH Silv 2 says, wow, the dummies haven't seen the Game of Thrones. I haven't. I've never I have watched. have every episode. What I are you talking about? Seasons one and two, and then I lost track. Yeah, but he, maybe he was thinking that's what it was from, but Whiskey in the Six has said it's Gangs of New York. Which is interesting. Long movie. So, Eric Waite, uh, Hollywood Marine or Camp Lejeune? I think we should all rise up and slay <laughs> J.R.R., whatever his name is, that made Game of Thrones. Because no, he, no, no, no. He 
Jay, huh? you just confused the two. It's R.R. R. Martin. R.R. R. Martin. Whatever. We should play him. Because <laughs> he's sitting on a fat pile of money and laughing at us right now. Well, he's still got to finish two books. No, he's not going to ever do that because he's going to die. And then he's going to laugh at us because he's sitting on a fat pile of money. MCRD San Diego. <laughs> and there's naked women servicing him. Oh, no. We are, we are paying him to leave us hanging. I think R. R. Martin was a little surprised about how much of a cult hit it became or not. No. 20, 20 years, Bart. 20 years I've invested in him. 20 what? years. You haven't done that. I know. I think he was a little surprised when the show blew up. Like well, it. 20 years. That's all I got to say. I'm um, angry. Don't get at, don't get cousin Shane mad at you. I think it might be time to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at uh, skin nineteen head sixty nines quote up there. I'll shove that bat up your a. Wow! And turn you into a popsicle. Wow! What film is that from? That was what was that? That was a Pulp Fiction. What? Yeah, the shelf knows of which he speaks. <laughs> Bruno, I don't know. Bruno, I think we should scotch it, you scotch gods. Are you ready? I am. I think we've been there long enough. Hour and a half almost. All right. Scotch it, you scotch gods. Scotch it, dummies. Scotch it dummies oh, thanks everybody tuned in appreciate it thanks for the super chats super chats thanks guys bye dummies